I was one day coming back from London after like exam and the Royal Colleges give you a first class ticket. So otherwise in my life I can't imagine paying a first class ticket. So I was sitting in the first class compartment. There was no one. It was an Air India flight. This was in 2002. When the flight was about to leave, a gentleman walked in. I had seen him in the papers. He was a Gujarat Chief Minister. Narendra Modi is his name. So he came and sat in another seat. But what impressed me most was not his Chief Ministership. He wanted a glass of water. What do we do in the plane? We press the bell. The girl comes running. This man got up, went to the to bay and told the girl, I want a cup of water. Can I have it? That girl gave, he drank it there and gave the glass to her and then came and sat again. I said, this, this must be a good man. After some time, he looked around. We were only two. The plane started. It was nine and a half hours flight from London to Bombay. And this man came slowly to me and sat by my side and said, who are you? I said, who I was? I said, I didn't want to come and talk to you because you're all politicians. I keep politicians at uh, arm's length. So I just sat, sat here. So he went on, he a doctor. Tell me, how do I improve uh, Bihar's health? So I went on telling him something. And he was making notes, sitting and making notes. Can you believe that? So he went on and on and on and on. Nine and a half hours. And when we got down in Bombay, he went to Ahmedabad, I went to Bangalore. Now after two months, his health minister, one Jai Narayan Vyas, he is also a PhD in economics. Jai Narayan calls me and says, Sir, can you come to Ahmedabad because Chief Minister wants to meet you. Because he has written an article, it seems, in the Bhavan's journal saying that if a pregnant mother is poor, the child will be unhealthy when it is born. And after that, the child cannot be improved. Our Chief Minister is so impressed by that article, he wants you to tell our people about it. Please come. I said, okay, send me a ticket, I'll come. They sent a ticket. So I went to Ahmedabad, they had booked me a hotel. And the next morning, 10 o'clock was a meeting in Gandhinagar. So they said, 9 o'clock, we'll send the car. I said, okay, 9 o'clock, I was ready. 9.45, my car reached Gandhinagar, that auditorium. Would you believe the chief minister with his ministers was waiting outside for me? <laughs> when I was vice chancellor in Manipal University, I had an appointment to see one of the chief ministers, then chief ministers in Bangalore. They wanted me. So I came here. Then when I came, they said, okay, chief minister is busy now, you wait. I said, I wait, waited, waited, waited. This was at 9 o'clock I came. I waited till 2 o'clock. And at 2 o'clock they said, you are turned now, go inside. And I went inside, suddenly some Japanese uh, tourists came or delegation or something like that. They said, you wait, they will finish. So I was sitting there inside. This chief minister never even looked at my face. After about nearly 12 hours of waiting, he told me, why did you come? I said, I didn't come, you only called me. He said, did I? What for? He said, so I went back. This is the kind. Now look at this difference. Here was a man waiting for me. Who were there? His five senior ministers, eight senior IAS officers, his economic advisor, one Dr. Mehta, the, IA, uh, the IAM chairman, uh, what is his name? I forget his name. So all of them were there. So they said, he said, come, meeting starts at 10 o'clock, he said. 10 o'clock the door closes. Nobody, even the minister cannot come in. 10 o'clock the door closed, he said, Dr. Hegde, tell us about your ideas. So I told one hour. He said, you all now can ask him questions for one hour. They ask questions. Then he said, I will ask him questions, he asked. Then he said, I will talk to you now what I have learnt and I have made notes. So he told them what he learnt from what, I, what we discussed. Then he said, lunch. Another door opened and there was a three course lunch laid on the table. We had lunch. After lunch he said, 15 minutes rest. After that he said, you all now have to understand what he said and tell me ideas as to how we can improve Gujarat. So they had some ideas. Then he said, all right, now my orders for implementation tomorrow. A midday meal for a pregnant woman, a poor woman who is pregnant, misses her period, she joins this course and midday meal. And I've taken down what all uh, Professor Higde has suggested. So then, then now he gives a warm midday meal for every pregnant woman because I said, there is no use giving midday meal to a child which is already born very badly, made very badly. Give it to the mother, the child will be made well. And today you must go and see in Gujarat, the infant mortality is so low. It's very well. So that's the kind of people we want in this country. I'm not saying vote for him because I don't know. <laughs> vote if you like, I don't know. 
but we want good people in politics then only the country can change we want good people in society then only the country can change